Hey guys, it's Monday, which means it's time for another video. I got a request on my last video to review a movie called Shocker. It's directed by Wes Craven. Um, I actually had to uh, watch it on Friday to um, kind of refresh my memory a little bit because it's been years since I last saw Shocker. And I actually really enjoyed it. It it's not the best Wes Craven film, obviously, but it's still a decent film. And the thing is, I don't ever hear, like, anybody really talk about Shocker. They talk about, like, Nightmare on Elm Street, of course, and, like, The Hills Have Eyes, and um, People Under Stairs is a big one that Wes Craven, that he's done. But Shocker was actually pretty good. It, I like how the soundtrack is mostly rock music, which is cool because, well, Alice Cooper, his, um, No More Mr. Nice Guy, that's, like, the tagline for the film Shocker. That song plays as he's, like, getting ready to get, um, get put in the electric chair. So it's basically this guy, his name's Horse Pinker. He, um, I think that's his name. He is basically a killer and he gets caught and then gets put in the electric chair but he also is really obsessed with like electricity and stuff so when he gets shocked he doesn't actually die he comes back as like some weird like he can body hop which is so strange and to me this felt a little bit like Nightmare on Elm Street in a way too because the main kid in this he dreams about the killer and the killer comes after. It's, it's like kind of like Freddy Krueger in a way, but not as great. Um, the kills really aren't that memorable because there really isn't that many. Um, just he likes to hop from body to body and kind of confuse people because he is going from body to body. There's really not much for me to say about. I, I mean, like I said, I really enjoy this film. It's not. Um, terrible by any means uh it could have been it, to me it dragged a, a little bit too long in my personal opinion if it was like an hour and a half I feel like it would have been okay but it was almost like I think it was like an hour and 49 minutes an hour and 50 minutes something like that but I still like enjoyed it for what it was I know like I said there's not that many people out there that really talk about shocker it's just kind of a forgotten gem. More, I feel like more people talk of a deadly friend. Just the fact that that movie is like so bad that it's good. Then they talk about Shocker, and I feel like Shocker should get more recognition. It's a pretty solid film. It kind of gets. It got released like towards the end of the slasher craze from the eighties. It was released in nineteen eighty nine, so. It wasn't really, like, a slasher film. In my, not a whole lot of West Craven films. A Nightmare on Elm Street. That's, like, the only slasher film. But it was different compared to the other films of the 1980s. So that's what kind of made Nightmare on Elm Street unique. And that's kind of what makes Shocker unique. Because it has the same elements as Nightmare on Elm Street. But more, like, um... They kind of don't take it as seriously as the original Nightmare on Elm Street did but it, like I said good movie but yeah that's basically my review of Shocker I hope you guys enjoyed this review stay tuned for more podcasts and um fan films but um if there's a movie that you guys want me to review just comment down below and I'll be sure to get to it as soon as possible but in the meantime I'll see you guys on Thursday